so here we are in adobe photoshop now i have this fiber logo over here and you can choose any logo you want but the procedure is gonna be same because i'm gonna follow one animation and uh, you can apply that animation and uh, animation technique to any kind of logo okay so first of all we need to separate this logo from this background so for that what you can do simply go to the select option in photoshop and over here you will get this option called color range and with the help of that we will pick up this white color for the background and fuzziness we are going to choose 200 and simply hit ok like this and simply hit ctrl or simply hit delete and hit ctrl d to duplicate it but if you see over here and if you zoom in we will get a little bit transparency so we don't want that so hit ctrl z again for that hit ctrl d to deselect over here you will see go to the select we will go to the color range we will pick up this color but fuzziness we are going to choose 170 and simply hit ok and let's delete and hit ctrl d so now if you see we are not getting any transparency over here and we have proper separate logo now I'm going to select my rectangle selection tool over here and I'm going to select this R hit ctrl x to cut it create a new layer and press ctrl shift v to paste this over here which means paste in place and we will hide this same procedure we will follow for this R also I'm going to select this R hit ctrl x to cut it create new layer press ctrl shift v to paste in place and we will hide this we will follow this procedure for each and every alphabet like this now over here uh, we need if you uh, select my rectangle tool as you guys can see i cannot select properly so hit ctrl d to deselect and i'm going to on my keyboard to select my pen tool and i'm going to select this e like this okay after that hit ctrl enter hit ctrl x to cut it out create a new layer press ctrl shift v to paste in place like this okay and hide this then after that we will select this hit ctrl enter ctrl x sorry ctrl x create a new layer press ctrl shift v and we will hide this then press m we will select this i hit ctrl ctrl x to cut it out create a new layer press ctrl shift v so each and every alphabet is properly on the separate layer like this now we will save this file uh, and we will go to the after effects we will create a new composition we are going to name it as a main animation and width is 1920 height is 180 frame rate is 30 duration is one minute long and background color is uh, uh, white color and simply hit ok then we will go to choose grid and guide option and simply hit on title section now i'm gonna go in my ellipse tool and i'm going to choose black color for this uh, film and i don't want any stroke and i'm going to select my ellipse tool and by holding shift i'm going to create one ellipse now select this ellipse press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically now select this text layer i mean shape layer press p for position initially let's bring this downwards create one keyframe at position go somewhere around 20 frames and i'm going to move this keyframe over here i mean y position keyframe somewhere around over here then go somewhere around 1.10 frames and we will bring this downwards now select those keyframes and hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift move one handle over here one handle over here one handle over here select this and move one handle over here so if you see we will get this kind of animation now select those keyframe and by holding alt i'll bring this animation up to 20 frames only or let's say around one second so if i see like this now after that i'm going to select this layer and hit ctrl d hit u and let's delete this keyframe and uh, press v and simply bring this over here and move this over here then press s for scaling option create one keyframe over here let's go to around two seconds and we will increase the size of this like this now select those scaling animation keyframe and hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift we'll move one handle over here and move one handle over here like this 
then after that select this hit ctrl D go to the start hit U and we will delete those keyframe then I'm gonna go in my line tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically and we will choose let's say red color for this now just for our reference select this press P for position create one keyframe go to around two second create another keyframe go to the start bring this out of this composition like this also press s create one keyframe hit u go over here create another keyframe go to the start and let's make this scale somewhere around 400 and let's bring this upward like this and select those keyframes and hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift we'll move one handle over here and move one handle over here like this okay then after that select this and let's change the color of this to white like this then somewhere around over here hit page down button one time create one keyframe at scale go few frame forward and let's increase the scale until we will it will cover the entire composition select those scaling keyframes and hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph uh, by holding shift we'll move one handle over here and then we'll move one handle over here so we'll get something like this so if i see i'll get this kind of animation then so i'm gonna press ctrl y to create one solid background sorry press ctrl y to create one solid background and make sure to choose uh, 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 what we call white color and simply hit ok and hit ok and we will bring this downwards so select all of this animation stuff and press ctrl shift c to decompose this and we will call it as animation ok and hit ok then uh, now press ctrl i to import our psd file which is this one and instead of import as footage i'm going to choose composition return layer sizes and simply hit import and hit ok then i'll bring this layer over here then press s for scaling option and scale it like this now go to the start over here select all of them press p for position create one keyframe then press t for uh, t for opacity create another keyframe hit u go somewhere around one second create one keyframe position one keyframe at opacity go to the start let's bring this little bit over here and make sure the initial opacity should be zero then select all of this keyframes and hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift move one handle over here select this and move one handle over here so we will get something like this now i want this animation one by one so i'll select this one over here go to five frames select this with the help of open square bracket i'll move this over here so basically we need to adjust them one by one like this okay so if you see we are gonna get this kind of stuff and this thing should be start from here like this okay let's move this over here and if you think the animation is quite slow then what you can do you can take a distance of two frames also like this five frames it's too slow so i'm going to take a distance of two frames like this so it should start from here okay then i'm going to select this i'll go to the effect and presets panel and i'll apply tint effect on it like this go few frame forward and over here instead of uh, black we are going to choose this green color so with the help of this picker i'm going to pick up this color so if i see i'll get this kind of animation now i'm going to select this uh, layer create one keyframe at scale go somewhere around 5 second and let's make this 35 or increase the up to 8 seconds like this then hit and 
let's increase the scale a little bit so if i see this animation this is going to be my final output and if you want go to the animation select all of them enable their motion blur similarly over here enable their motion blur so now what will happen we will get a little bit of motion blur in our animation and our animation will look a little bit smoother like this so this is how you can create this kind of custom logo reveal animation inside of after effects